We're here today to present findings from the 2011 Ontario Student Drug Use and Health Survey. The OSTIS, which has been conducted every two years since 1977, is the longest ongoing school survey in Canada and one of the longest in the world. First, no drug monitored by the study, either licit or illicit, showed a significant increase in 2011 compared to 2009. Cannabis use significantly declined from 26% in 2009 to 22% in 2011. And using a prescription opioid pain reliever, such as Percocet, Percodan, Demerol, or Trilenol-3, without uh, one's own prescription, significantly declined from 18% to 14%. Another prominent finding concerns the use of new drugs. One function of the OSTIS is to track the emergence of new drugs in the Ontario student population. For example, in past years, we have seen the emergence of ecstasy, non-medical use of prescription opioids, and salvia. For the first time in 2011, the OSTIS asked students about the use of DOTA, which is an opioid, uh, methadrone, and BZP pills. Uh, both of which are synthetic stimulant drugs. Till now, we've only had anecdotal evidence about the use of these drugs in Canada. Uh, our findings suggest that these drugs have not diffused to the student population, as past year prevalence estimates are negligible. As is typically the case, our findings convey both good and bad news. Use of alcohol and illicit drugs also continues moving downward as well. Several drugs have shown significant declines over the past decade. These include hallucinogenic drugs, such as mushrooms and LSD, cocaine, methamphetamine, and ecstasy. A few findings, however, raise public health concerns. As in the past, a higher percentage, uh, at 12%, of licensed students report driving after cannabis use compared to drinking driving in 2011. Moreover, about one quarter of all students rode with a driver who had been drinking alcohol, and 16% rode with a driver who had been using drugs. Especially worrisome is the likelihood of being a passenger with an intoxicated driver uh, from either alcohol or drugs increases significantly with grade, and by grade 12, about one in three uh, 12th graders report these behaviors. Finally, the relatively high prevalence of non-medical use of prescription drugs, such as opioid pain relievers, is concerning. When we look at any non-medical prescription drug use, including opioid drugs, drugs to treat ADHD, or sedative type drugs, the past year prevalence reaches 17%. The non-medical use of prescription drugs, as well as over-the-counter drugs, is popular among teens for various reasons, one of which is their wide accessibility. We know from our data that the majority of those who have used an opioid drug without their own prescription report obtaining these drugs from home. Therefore, parents and the public in general should be aware of the potential for misuse of medications.